Yo, what's going on guys? Colton Mush back at it with another video. The top five best PC hardware deals of the week. I haven't done this in a few weeks. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my videos, asked me to do another video. So here it is. And there's quite a bit of great deals this week. So let's just get right into this with number five. On Amazon right now, you can pick up the Samsung 850 Evo one terabyte SSD for $290. Now, I don't know how many people are in the market for a one terabyte SSD. But for the few of you that are looking to pick something like this up, the 850 EVO 1TB for $290 is a pretty good deal. I know $290 for storage does sound like a lot, but a terabyte in an SSD is a lot of storage. Considering this same drive in the 120GB variant is $70, if you do the math, you're saving quite a bit of money by getting the 1TB. But again, a lot of you guys probably aren't in the market for something like this. I still wanted to give it a mention because $290 for a 1TB SSD is a pretty good deal. For the few of you that are looking to pick it up, and I still use the Samsung 840 Evo in my build, that works really well, so you guys can expect some great speeds out of this, it has great reviews. And if you don't get the 1TB variant, like I said, the 120GB version is available for $70, which is also a decent deal. Number 4, we got a monitor, the Acer Black 24-inch 1920x1080p monitor. This is a 1080p monitor, 23.8 inches to be exact, $110 for this monitor, which is a really good deal. It's got a 4 millisecond response time, which is pretty decent. It's got a D-sub port, DVI port, and an HDMI port, and it's got built-in speakers, which is always something I like to have. Obviously, those speakers are nothing special, but even if you just plug in a console to it like the PS4 or the Xbox One, at least you'll have some speakers that you can use with this monitor. And for $110 for a 1080p monitor, that's a really good deal. Typically, a monitor that's around 23 to 24 inches and 1080p, something like that would typically run you about $130 to $140, so it's nice to see that this Acer monitor is available for $110 on Newegg right now. Number 3, the PowerColor Radeon R9 390 is available on Newegg right now for $290 and along with that you'll get a $20 mail-in rebate and a $10 gift card to use on anything on Newegg.com. So that is an awesome deal for the R9 390. Yeah, it is a PowerColor GPU, but they do make pretty good GPUs. They don't have the biggest name recognition in the world, but considering you're getting an R9 390 for $270 after the mail-in rebate and a $10 gift card that you can spend on anything on Newegg.com, that's a pretty good deal and this is by far the cheapest that I've seen an R9 390 for. The video card itself is awesome whether you're gaming at 1080p or 1440p. Expect to get really good settings on all the latest games and upcoming games. Star Wars Battlefront, Fallout 4, Mirror's Edge... Whatever games you decide to throw out the R9 390, it's going to play them really well, maxed out or near maxed out if nothing else. Number 2, we got the EVGA GeForce GTX 960. This is the one with the ACX cooler for only $205 and this comes with a $15 mail-in rebate, knocking it down to $190. So this is the 4GB model, which is awesome. I would never recommend to buy a 2GB GTX 960. Nowadays, if you are buying a mid-level video card, I would recommend to get at least a 3GB model. And considering the 960 is only available in 2GB or 4GB models, the 4GB model is really your only option. But for the while, it was priced at around $220 to $240, and in my opinion, that was just a bit too expensive. And really, the price becomes great if you take advantage of the mail-in rebate. $190 for the GTX 960 is the perfect price I would pay for a video card like this. Now, that would be the case in a normal week, but this week, as you guys are going to see with number one, there's a killer deal on a video card. But still, if you guys want a mid-level NVIDIA video card, the EVGA GTX 960 on Newegg right now is a pretty good deal at $190. Now we get to number one right now on NCIXUS.com. You can pick up the MSI Radeon R9 380 for $189. This is the 4GB model. Typically, this retails for around $220 to $230. And not only that, for whatever reason, NCIX is bundling in a copy of the new Tomb Raider game, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is supposed to be an NVIDIA exclusive feature. I have no idea why this is being bundled in with the R9 380. I don't know if this is like a mistake. But regardless, if you want this GPU, I would get it ASAP as the sale price is ending on January 27th. But this price is absolutely bonkers. Even if you forget about the Tomb Raider code, $189 for an R9 384GB model is an awesome deal. And then you factor in the Tomb Raider code, and this is just a ridiculous deal. I have some videos of the R9 380 on my channel. You guys can look them up if you want. I've got videos of that video card running Witcher 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, and a couple other games. So if you guys are interested, you can check those out as well. But right now, this deal is absolutely ridiculous. Like I said, I have no idea why NCIX is giving away the Tomb Raider codes with an AMD video card, but I guess any retailer can do that with their discretion. Or maybe it's just a typo, but I'm pretty sure if you order this video card, they would have to honor it as it's listed there. 
and you can clearly see it. And this video card has been available at this price for a few days now with that bonus. So I don't think it's a typo. So yeah, I would recommend this video card if you're building a new PC around $500 to $600. Or if you're looking to upgrade an older video card, this is an awesome deal. And I highly recommend you guys check it out if you're interested in getting a new video card. Just an insane deal. So that's going to end my rambling. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys pick any of these up. And leave your requests for future videos. As always, guys, have a great day. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.